What's up? Good morning, guys. Today we're going to take you along with my customer Greg and his son. Uh, these guys fish me quite a bit, but we're going to deal with kind of a post frontal big after rainstorm. There's a really cool pattern that works with these post spawn fish. I'm going to show you guys today, I'll show you how to catch them, show you where to catch them, and hopefully you guys can use it the next time you're on the water. You know anything about Venmo? Not too much. That one. Hit it on the bottom. Should have some kind of overflow or yeah. even if they have your cash you can use it there you go snagged or oh, I think I got it. it's looking like it's snagged oh jeez oh, sturgeon sturgeon, sturgeon. sturgeon. big yeah. sturgeon oh. it's cool when you catch them in the mouth when you catch them in the tail if you want a picture of a Greg you'll have to get one right now Oh my gosh, he ate it. He actually did, he actually did eat it. There he goes. It's in his mouth. That's super rare. You got it right in the mouth. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, we can't, <clears throat> we can't, we can't legally take him out of the water. So Greg, just take pictures right now. Cause we can't take him out of the water. So I'm just gonna unhook him. We're gonna let him go. Okay, going back. There you go, you big dinosaur. Get out of here. Good morning. So they're protected, the Great Lakes. So you can't fish for them, you can't, you're not supposed to take them out of the water. I mean, I think people get away with taking pictures with them, but there you go, Greg. Nice. It's just not, wardens don't like to see it. Post spawners fight so hard. Yeah. And we didn't exactly have them in the mouth, but. You want a picture of them? Put them back. Yeah, we might as well take a picture. I got one right here. Awesome. Nice job. Put them back. Right after the sturgeon. Big head on the post spawner. Absolutely thumped the rip and wrap out on the cast. Right here at sunrise. Just gonna spot lock here for a minute. Marked a bunch of fish right here in front of us, about like 60 feet out. Totally missed him. Came back. How oh, I missed him. Pike. Another post spawner. This one somehow missed it and then came back again and cracked it. Normally, when they hit it on the swing, they don't miss. But he missed it, stuck with the retrieve, came back and smoked it. Let's switch up your color, Ryan. And then, Greg, let's get you on a rip and wrap. You guys can see here this pot of fish that we just spot locked on. I marked when we were going down. And this little pot, there's one, two, three, four, five, six individual fish we got a little bit of a hard bottom you know, like difference in the bottom here a hard bottom a little soft bottom spot there but always be watching this stuff <clears throat> as soon as i saw that we spot locked and i hooked up right in this area behind the boat you feeling bottom ryan i think so yeah. think so? so it's not so much a snap greg it's more just that 
It's just a, it's a lift, not so much a snap. There you go, that's better. Perfect, I like it, Ryan. I like it a lot. Little faster lift, Craig. There you go. I got probably got at least 150 pounds of summer sausage. Oh my gosh. I mean, maybe 30 pounds of hamburger left. I think it was right after you guys were here. Man, every time I eat one of those meat sticks, I get bit. I think it's the scent of my yeah, fingers. I think they want some meat sticks. They're hungry. <laughs> and he just cracked it, too. Hmm. Well, venison, honey barb, cheddar honey barbecue. That's what they like. Nice fish. So what's happening guys, like I talked to you guys about this morning, what's happening right now is basically these fish just got done spawning and see this is a post-spawn female and they're starting to filter back out of these rivers. Now we've had some crazy weather, crazy spring. Our water temps are actually down at 41 degrees. These fish spawn from 43 to 45 and about a week and a half ago we had a really one warm day and all these fish spawn but now these fish are starting to filter out of the rivers and it seems like you get a good push of fish right away in the morning plus we had this big rainstorm last night we got almost an inch of rain and that current can help flush these fish out of the rivers we're just sitting outside the mouth and these fish are making their way back into the bay and eating some uh ripping wraps with some uh barbecue flavor on them on their way out yeah, that's that is impressive in the tail. I've only ever caught I think one really or two, counts. one or two other ones that were in the mouth. Yeah. <clears throat> we had one in the fox. We caught a, on a damn it, on a jig and a minnow that was just that was the same one that I missed. Was it? I don't know. There's like three of them right here on side of me. I just missed that one. Dang it. There's the three. Right there. There's a four. It's right here behind the boat. See if, see if it really shutter oh, shutters on this side. There we go. Picture up off the bottom. Like a pretty good one, actually. Gonna spot lock right here, the boat's gonna kind of swing. It's a nice one. There it is. Number six. Another nice one. The cool thing about post spawn fish too is that it really opens up a lot of different presentations. You obviously were catching on ripping wraps this morning. I think it's mainly because of the dirty water, just from that rain last night. But hair jigs come into play. Swim baits are a really big bait for me post spawn. These fish absolutely choke a swim bait after that. Um, with this dirty water, they're definitely liking the ripping wraps. We're throwing sixes, sevens also come into play too with that faster fall because these fish are generally more aggressive. But with that colder water being at 41, the sixes a little bit slower fall been the deal. Ryan, hooked up. Come to the back here. I'll let this one go and we'll grab yours. That one. I'm right here if you can. Work, buddy. Too bad. As close as we can get to a double without actually having one. Our timing is a little off. We'll a little. Gotta <laughs> figure it out. I got them throwing the same bait 
Uh, we started with two different colors this morning. And Greg actually started with a hair jig, which he did catch one fish on, but I started getting them on this six. And like I said, guys, this one is one of my favorite colors. Standard from Rapala. It's called Road Trip. Nice job, Mass Man. Put them back. Thank you. That one, bud? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Come to it. I'm gonna come back here, Ryan. A little bit easier. It's kind of hooked onto the chin. Were you, so you just let it sit in the bottom longer, you think, or? Well, no, I was kind of, I was still going, but I was just watching you through the hair. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I kind of had him sleep when it sat a little bit longer. But he hit, hit that one hard. Nice. Nice work. Come back, right there. Always on the phone, you know? Now uh, Chris just called me, he goes, the line I just drove up is loaded with fish. He goes, oh, your guy's hooked up. <laughs> Drag's a little loose. Good one? Snag him? Or is he just that big? <laughs> did you did you feel him hit it or did you pick it on the bottom? I mean, I just put that a little above average. Picture him. Beauty. Good, good. Put him back. Twenty, twenty-four or twenty-six or something. Picture him? Put him back. How you get told back? There's one. First cast with number seven. They fight so hard post spawn. Yeah. It's just like you think you feel like you got him snagged. As you can see, that's a number seven. It's actually my first cast with it. And Greg was getting bit on a hair jig, and generally that's due to the fact that that bait's falling really fast, and that fast fall can be a trigger. So change it to a number seven, which is seven eighths of an ounce versus number six, it's a half ounce. That faster fall rate can uh, get you some bites. That's just a North Shore Custom Sour Grape Green Base Standard. And then a hybrid VMC Trouble there on the back. And a nice 26 inch. Got one, Ryan? Okay. Nice. He's quiet up there, hey? Silent but deadly. Silent but deadly. But deadly. If you're downwind. <laughs> Just by the stinger hook on the hair. Should I show a picture? Throw him back. You can throw him back. Okay. Nice one.
same spot if you can. Right here in the back. There he goes. Perfect. Well guys, that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something. And as always, see you on the next one.